What's going on, everybody? It is Fantastic Friday, which means we have Mike Zuber from One Run at a Time. Mike, how's it going? Good, man. Good, uh, except uh, I'm a little nervous about the next couple of years. Yep, yep. So let's talk about that a little bit more. So what we're talking about is something called stagflation, which means basically stagnant economy, but lots of inflation. So the good news is, is that everything gets more expensive, but you make basically no more money. So yeah. Talk me through it. You're the econ guy. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just, I get, I get asked this a lot. So let me just kind of give you my resume for where this comes from. Right. So I do have an undergraduate degree in economics from Santa Clara university. I went on to get an advanced degree called an MBA, which means more economics and accounting and finance and all of that nonsense. I have been studying the markets for more than 30 years by reading it every single day. So that is my history. Something you learn in economics is you have to find your focus, your area, your thing, right? There are lots of variables in the economy. Every economist, everybody who's got an econ degree has their thing. My thing is the consumer. I have been studying the consumer for more than 30 years. What I see coming down the pipeline for the consumers is some pain. Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, inflation is real. It is not transitory. In fact, it is going to get worse before it gets better. We have now companies that are making structural changes. The thing about inflation is when it changes behavior, you have a problem. And now CEOs are saying time to pass on price increases because usually CEOs in a competitive market are not very interested in raising prices because you have switching costs and you can go from buying burritos here to burgers over there and all of those things. Nope, all CEOs are like, it's here. I have to, I read ingredients are more shipping is more wages are more. Mm -hmm. I have to raise prices. If you want to see an example of this, go to Chipotle. They get, they were celebrated one week for raising minimum wage to 15 bucks. And then a week later, or 10 days later, the cost of everything went up 4%. So congratulations. <laughs> we are here. Inflation is real. And unfortunately, what happens next in stagflation is you have a economy with no growth. And you have an economy with unemployment that uh, gets worse. And it's not a very fun environment. This is something that went from being tail risk, meaning like it's out there, to entering kind of best case or, or, or not best case. That sounds bad. Base case. Base, meaning I think it's most likely. And... Um, it's not, it doesn't bring a lot of fun to say that. And today's jobs creation number kind of validates it, right? right? The expectation was 500. What happened? I think it was 196. So again, low job creation. Inflation, wages were up 4.6% on an expectation of four. And well, by the way, four is not good. It beat it by 15%. So again, inflation, right? Stagflation. Uh, the problem is is stagflation hurts 95 percent of us that's right the only people that aren't that are hurt but not hurt much because inflation hits everybody right this whole tax the rich nonsense out there inflation is a tax it hits everyone it is unfair it hits the people at the bottom the worst that's why the government doesn't talk to you about it because they don't have a good answer uh, sorry, you have to buy less food. You have to get less gas. You have to trade. It's just, it's an, inflation is ugly once it takes off. However, if you can go borrow 30 year debt at under 4%, that's right. In an inflationary environment that's probably eight or nine, and have this asset cash flow day one in a rising rent environment, in a scarce supply, you can use inflation. And if you have a couple of these assets, you can use inflation and get the benefits that far out with the outweigh the pain that you will feel. Because again, everyone feels inflation. My gas goes up just like yours. Your, my food goes up just like yours. But if you have a pile of assets that cash flow that have 30 year debt, you really don't care. So there's only a few people, it's a few percentage point of people that have that. Uh, I suggest everybody get started one rental at a time. 30 year money, cash flow day one, make it a good or great deal. And it's 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 time. You have this little window where 30 year rates are low because the Fed is stupid and wrong. Right. And they're they're gonna raise rates eventually and likely have to raise them quickly. But there's still this window. Is the window three months? Is it six months? Is it a year? I don't know. It's a window. Right. 
Ah, oh, time to get started because yeah, it's, and, it could get and that's the thing is like what we always talk about, Mike, is time in the market's better than timing the market. This is not a bad time. Yeah, you think prices are high, but there's a little bit in a lot of markets. There's a little bit of slowness. Yeah, inventory is building. Which and is inventory is building, and you need to get. I mean, that's what's going to happen is when you start to see prices heavily decline on the reg. What's going to end up happening is is rates. That's when they're going to say, "Hey, we need to start raising rates as well to fund off inflation." Yeah. And then what happens? And then usually the bank's box, because everybody has a box in life. Absolutely. Bank's box gets much smaller. I yep. mean, Mike and I had high 700 scores and couldn't get loans when this happened last time. Yeah. We're not saying it's going to be the same devastation by any stretch, but a slow economy is a slow economy. And who knows, banks yeah. will have bad stuff on their paper that they need to get rid of. And that means that they will need to charge higher rates. They'll need more of a spread based on what the Fed's charging them and what they need to then charge their customers. Yeah. Stagflation is not good. <laughs> it's just not good. But you might as well use it. Yeah. But it's not good. I'm not very happy. It can yeah. only go sideways, folks. So be doing your homework. Understand what we're talking about. Mike, great topic as always. How can people find you, my friend? One rental at a time. A couple of books, a YouTube channel, Instagram, website. All that stuff. Yep. I'm going to start instituting the one rental at a time challenge. Watch everything from the beginning. <laughs> and <laughs> look, don't do that. It's over like 4,600 videos. Yeah. Don't do that. And, and Mike, I know you'll be surprised to know we have done more interviews together than any of your other experts. Oh, yes. That is awesome. Yeah. We're, I think this puts us over 200. Nice. I like Holy. that. And we did this in under a year, Mike. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I enjoy it or else it's I wouldn't so do much it. Fun, <laughs> That's the beauty of my life. If I don't like it, I don't do it. <laughs> I, I love it. So as we always talk about, we create a ton of awesome content for you. Research, we stuff that we're dealing with today as real estate investors active in the market. If you like this stuff, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, tell us why you don't like it. Cause yeah. we like those comments too. If you don't like it or we're wrong, please enlighten us because there's always something we can learn. So 1130 AM Eastern time this Sunday is the probably the final in the series. We'll do some more, but that's probably the final in the series. 1130 Eastern time this Sunday, Lumberjack Landlord, you will see a notification. If you are subscribed, if you aren't subscribed, come take a look for it on the channel. It will be there for you to watch. And it's fun. And awesome. Mike, I look forward to you being there for at least seven minutes of it. Yeah, you got it. Not all three hours. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, my man. Have a great weekend. Yeah, take care.